Dooley here, giving you my views of the latest Doctor Who episode, Cold War. Hold on to your retros. We're heading back to the 1980s. It's 1983. We're only months from the uh, fall of the Soviet Union, but tensions between Russia and the U.S. have never been higher. And aboard the Russian submarine, carrying the cache of nuclear warheads, another more sinister cargo has been brought aboard. A huge figure brought in, frozen in block of, block of ice, imagined by uh, the resident scientist Professor Grushenko played with relish by the legendary David Warner to possibly be a woolly mammoth. Unfortunately, his overeager assistant frees the creature who turns out to be a legendary ice warrior of Mars, who has been in suspended animation for roughly 5,000 years, give or take a hundred. As chaos reigns and the sub uncontrollably heads toward a watery grave, you know who and Clara arrive in the TARDIS and manage to ease the crash of the boat. Although they are now stuck, hopelessly stuck on the reef overlooking a bottomless castle. The doctor makes some headway calming the ice warrior's Skaldak and the vessel's Captain Zhukov, but a rush to imprison him leads to dire consequences, placing not only the lives of the crew in danger, but thanks to the missiles in storage, the entire world. So why not escape in the TARDIS? Well, the ship's safety feature was activated, allowing it to transport to a safer location without the Doctor and Clara aboard. Writer Mark Gatiss is a huge fan of the Ice Warriors, but he had some difficulty convincing head writer and showrunner Stephen Moffat that the clunky Martians and their bulky turtle-like shells were a vital part of Doctor Who just waiting to be revived. And Mark hits it right out of the park by recalling the sense of nobility and honor given to them by producer Barry Letts and writer Brian Hales. Skaldak literally reveals that the Ice Warriors have layers. We also get to see yet another uh, side of Clara growing, that of Peacemaker. When it seems Skaldak is unwilling to speak to either the Doctor or the Captain, Clara volunteers to be the medium between the heart and the hand. While the effort ultimately fails, Clara shows incredible bravery and perhaps even manages to soften up Skaldak's bitterness. You have to feel sorry for the entire cast as they were literally drenched for days of shooting hours and hours on end, uh, on end in the most claustrophobic set you could imagine. But it all paid off, bringing back classic Doctor Who monsters who haven't been seen since 1970. Well, that's it for this week's review of uh, new episodes of Doctor Who. Next week, hide! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you going? Where are you going? It's just the name of the episode!